Okay. Here we go. Uh, and again, I'll, I'll, I'll go to the build little page after this. Uh, hey, look, it's uh, Rough Riders. Uh, unless that's a, uh, somebody's changed the name. That's a name I certainly don't remember. Uh, it's a cool name, though. Um, he's got uh, the number one and two questions up there just in terms of what's showing, and I'm not going to get into the whole measure of how they select their bloody comments. If there was a simple thumbs-up thing, make life easy. It used to be that way, but it's not anymore. So let's see what he says. Um, hey, Bill, just resubmitting a question from two weeks ago uh, during the show. My son Max is 14 and is in the final leg of his glider pilot certification training. He only has spinning and spiral dives and out landing to complete it. Uh, yeah, landing, landing out uh, to complete, to qualify for his independent operator ticket. You can get your uh, glider license at 14, I think, instead of 16, if I recall correctly. Um, any tips for him on this and for his move to powered flight training as he wants to join the Air Force upon finishing high school? Thank you. Wow, I love that kind of question. I do remember you mentioning it before. Um, I've said many times that uh, I, I don't believe in compulsory anything, but... If, it, if I was a flight instructor, I would highly recommend uh, anybody who wanted to learn how to fly um, general aviation airplanes uh, that, they would, that they would start in gliders and that they would stay there long enough to have it do some good. I ended up, by the time I moved into power uh, flight, I was, I want to say it was 82 hours, 83 hours in sailplanes and um, probably two, 300 landings, something like that. A lot of short flights on a on a cold day. Um, called them s sleigh rides. You just take a toe up and then you glide down. There's no lift at all. But th as I've said before, and I won't go into too much detail here. The the, the benefits of this are uh, astonishing. You you number one, you have to feel how to fly the airplane. Uh, you just have to feel it. The only way to determine that you're in lift is to um, uh, is to feel it in the seat of your pants. You can feel the plane go up. You can feel one wing go up faster than the other one. Um, so there's that. Uh, you have to fly um, in, in um, if you're chasing thermals, you have to fly at a 60 degree bank. I've seen, I've seen general aviation pilots go white knuckle when they exceed 30 degrees. Uh, and uh, you have to fly a 60 degree bank and you have to fly two knots, three knots above the stall, minimum sink speed. Uh, you know, when, you, when your first 20, 30, 40, 50 hours in airplanes is flying one without an engine at 60 degrees of bank, two knots above stall speed, that fundamental understanding of how the airplane works never goes away, ever. Um, and not only do you get a, a sense of, of things like how pitch controls airspeed, most people think the propeller power controls airspeed, but in it, that's true in jet fighters, but in general aviation airplanes, it's very different, counterintuitive. In, in GA airplanes, um, pitch controls speed and power controls your altitude. Um, so, um, I, I highly recommend it. And, and the reason I recommend it more than anything, much more than the skill it gives you in actually flying the airplane, to me, is, um, is the fact that it is awful useful in emergencies. It's awfully, 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 awfully useful to um, uh, have the ability to land an airplane without an engine and know in advance that you can do it. Um, so anyway, uh, I hope that helps. I, I would, I would um, it, for whatever advice it's worth, I would, um, I would strongly advise your son to spend as much time in gliders as possible as opposed to Cessna 172s or something. Uh, if he's going to qualify for flight training, he's going to get it anyway. There's the number of people who, f who come into the academy with a glider background, because they start in gliders in the Air Force Academy, at least they used to. Um, the number of people who come in with gliders is minuscule. There's a significant number of, of applicants and, and cadets who have some general aviation background. But um, the reason I flew gliders for as long as I did was as close as I could get to a fighter plane. I mean, this thing was a carbon fiber little demon of the size of a bathtub and uh, no propeller. And, um, and you, uh, 
you know, you pulled three, four Gs and do aerobatics and those things. It was really great. And, and I don't have to see the propeller, so as far as I'm concerned, I'm flying the jet. Anyway, uh, best of luck to him, and uh, I certainly uh, would love to hear uh, more about, you know, the progress as it goes on. Let me see what I can find on the uh, web page here.